Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Miruko chan episode number 9. Okay, the previous episode. Um we again got an episode which was kind of broken down into multiple parts. Uh there was this one part with um uh, them going to shop for the mother's birthday and there was this ghost in <laughs> in the changing room that was like you know something that happened and then there was this in the train there was this huge ghost who was i don't know like kind of um taking out other ghosts from human beings i'm guessing human beings who were possessed they were kind of checking the human beings and taking out the ghosts and putting them in their bags like using an axe like that was scary and like good for miko that she was able to keep a uh, completely poker face throughout and nothing happened and that was that then there was this section with uh the teacher who's like you know like there's this uh spirit that was actually hovering around her belly uh, and it got we got to know that that was actually um uh like, you know a child that she wasn't able to give birth to so I'm guessing that was like a spirit which was kind of protecting her or something, probably something like that. And after like, you know, acknowledging that um, the spirit, uh, I think it, it got like, you know, the wish got fulfilled and it passed on, on. Something like that happened most probably. And all that stuff. And then there's this like, you know, <laughs> Miko contemplating, thinking that, yeah, like all these stuffs are happening. What am I supposed to do with this? Should I actually try to um uh face them head on but then as soon as she went to the vending machine she was like nope like there's like another ghost here which looks completely disgusting and i don't want to confront that so yeah <laughs> and in the end there was like a big shocking thing we suddenly meet that guy the guy who had these spirits uh, hovering around him and who they like, you know, wanted that cat he's a substitute teacher now i don't know how this will go like um who knows let's see let's see how this goes and like um miko and hana kind of knows that guy in a way so we'll see what like you know the reaction that both of them have so yeah without further ado let's get started this is episode number nine it is this nine isn't it yeah episode number nine of miruko chan so i'll be putting the subtitles and the time right here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right so here's the countdown Three, two, one, go. Oh boy, here we go. Then tono. yeah like so many things spirits oh, here we go hana recognizes him are those ca cat noises aren't they oh so these are cat ghosts wait a minute Oh my god, Hana doesn't realize. Does does he recognize them? I don't know, let's see. Um <laughs> Damn. He's still eat she's still eating. Put that down! Oh my god. Oh, this is that that thing we saw before. Remember in one of those episodes? This thing is Okay. Okay, one thing um I'll be not showing the opening because even though i blur everything even though i mute the audio i do so many things the copyright got me and especially towards the, like you know for this opening song so I'm, I'm like yeah i'm not taking any risk i'll be putting this like you know i will won't be showing the opening 
and then I'll again resume when the opening ends so yeah all right so yeah as i was saying so the spirits are are those cat spirits like i i heard meowing sounds so like why would he have cat spirits with him does he like kill cats or something i don't know oh who knows but then again like this like the, the ghost that we see outside it's kind of looking at this guy i think his name is zen yeah he's looking at him so it's not only cat spirits i'm guessing i don't know oh. okay let's see let's just wait for it i'm sure we'll get our answers All right, let's see. Cool store. Oh my God. The yakisoba melon pump with chocolate chips? What type of a... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That was 900 yen? Pretty pi pricey. You don't need to, just... <laughs> My god. Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't think that's the reason. Oh, true, true. Yeah, she's right, you know. What? <laughs> okay. How, like... <laughs> I wonder how how much she spends on food. Like, <laughs> it's constantly eating. True. Twenty free donuts. What? Oh my god! Here we go. I think he probably would recognize her. She's just he's just keeping quiet or something. Whoa. What the? My God. Okay, well. yeah yeah like how like and he's a homeroom teacher like he's going to come in in the class more than other teachers um no ghosts and don't have footsteps i don't think ghosts have footsteps like It's probably Hana or something. Like, I don't think that's... Okay, someone else. Hmm. Damn, the way they talk. <laughs> oh my god. Mm. Oh no, I, I wonder if there's any ghost in this toilet or something. There you go. I was just thinking, like, maybe there's something's going to happen. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. 
Oh no. I forgot about that for a second as well. Like you're not supposed to react. Damn, imagine ghosts popping out from your toilet. What the hell? Okay, I think we need that help. Those divine spirits. Oh god. Okay, still not completely alerted. It just suspects her. Yeah, just, I don't know, pretend um, that, oh, there's no toilet paper. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Okay, you need to get into the toilet or else it will get more suspicious. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? What? <laughs> First of all, he's, she's eating in the toilet. Second, she's not locked the door. Poor thing. <laughs> like, well, obviously, it's yakisoba, melon, and chocolate. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Ignorance is bliss, you know. <laughs> um. Ah, oh, that's nice. <laughs> okay, well, don't look, don't look. Oh boy, don't keep staring at... Oh... Oh no! Wait, 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 wait! Oh no, that ghost... It realized that he was, she was looking at her, him and said don't look. So it is connected to him somehow. Oh my god. Yeah, I don't blame her. Like, imagine a ghost... What? Okay, so that ghost really is connected to him somehow. It basically told him not to look at him. Oh my god. <laughs> I think Miko won't be bothered by this at all. He'll, she'll be like, ah, this is child's play. I've dealt with a lot worse things. Oh, nice. Free stuff. <laughs> Miko, Miko will dominate this. <laughs> Obviously. Obviously, Yulia as well. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Donut. Yeah, like nothing is scarier compared to that. And it's a female ghost as well. So I'm guessing I'll talk about it later. Hmm. Um.
All right, here we go. Okay. They have nice atmosphere here. Good. Points for that. Damn, this is legit. Well, obviously it's like a... Uh... Oh, hello there. <laughs> Child's play. <laughs> I wonder if... <laughs> if some real ghost will be mixed in with this. <laughs> And Miko will mistake them for. Oh my god, that'll be funny. Like, I won't be surprised if any of the ghosts here was like a real one. No, but there's a thing called jump scares, you know? Even if you're not scared, jump scares are. Oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> what? Oh yeah, she didn't know. Okay, okay. Damn. Oh yeah, Yulia knows that she has this. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's you. Yeah. <laughs> oh god, what now? Um keep moving, otherwise you'll miss them. Oh my god, here we go. That's what I was saying. Some actual ghosts will be missed in this. Yep, donuts. <laughs> oh, nice. What? <laughs> they re <laughs> they really don't want to give away the donuts. Otherwise, they wouldn't make these type of like. What the hell is this? Wow, they have everything. <laughs> what? Oh god. <laughs> oh, calm down! Oh yeah! <laughs> She forgot that she can <laughs> She forgot that she can actually scream here <laughs> Wow Wow The little things in life, you know <laughs> Yulia's like what the hell is wrong with you girl? <laughs>
Okay, don't mistake a real ghost for a fake one. That would be a big problem, but okay, there you go. Everything went well. Mm. Oh my god, what the? Oh no, this is a real one. Don't, don't, don't! Oh no! Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, oh no, oh no! Yeah, obviously, because she reacted. What? Oh, it's mixed in. Oh my god, it's mixed in with them. Okay, she can scream now because all of them are mixed with them. Yeah, and she can run as well. Okay, thank god for these people. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> hmm, there you go. He's like, oh, you're talking to them. Okay, I understand. <laughs> oh my god. Oh boy. Well, there you go. Happy ending, I guess. What type of a haunted house was this? Like they were legitimately not <laughs> trying to make them lose. No. <laughs> hmm. Um. Does she? <laughs> oh no, he, she'll misunderstand something. There you go, I said it. Again, she's misunderstanding. Oh damn, that was it. Whoa, wait. Okay, this was like... How many parts did we have? Two or three parts? Damn, that went quickly. Or is there still something left after the ending credits? I think so, because... I think that went a bit too quickly. I think something's left still. <clears throat> okay, so um, there's a few things that we can kind of understand after watching this, especially the first scene, the thing with the teacher. Um, first of all, there are a few cat spirits following him, I think. I think those are cats because they were basically meowing. We can hear that in the first part of the episode. And then there's another um, female ghost which is following him. <coughs> now, it's kind of funny to think about it because you remember that other guy with the Nekomata? He also has the same thing happening, but it's for him it's good spirits. For example, his wife and the two other nekomata cats that she has he has while this guy has a like you know a crazy female ghost following him and some demonic cat spirits something like that okay there you go there's still something left <laughs> 866 <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Oh, is, is this a god godmother? Yeah, there you go. Okay, she. Hmm. <laughs> I don't think so. I think she's probably just laying around, having fun. Uh, you know? Oh, she's farming. There you go. Ah. Uh. Oh my god. Damn. That was a spirit. Wow, like imagine being unable to actually, uh, you know, differentiate between um, people who actually exist in reality and spirits. Like, but she was not so strong. I don't think so. Yeah, she, she, she could see spirits, but not this clearly. But I guess she was basically kind of hearing the voice and that's why I, I guess like, you know, like she when she turned she saw that no one was there She I think that was just like a visual, like, you know, like they kind of Showed us the person the spirit like that For us to actually understand what's happening, but I doubt um, You know the godmother would Actually saw that person. She just heard the voice and uh, okay all right so this episode so as i was saying um this episode was like uh okay the first part <clears throat> uh we get kind of acquainted with the guy in a way he's now going to be a substitute teacher um cat spirits are following him at the same time a crazy female spirit is also following him um which as i said kind of reminds me of the other guy the only difference being that the other guys, the spirits that are <coughs> keeping an eye on him are <coughs> good spirits, which is his wife and uh, the two cats. While for this guy, it's like demonic cats and some crazy female ghost following him. So yeah, <coughs> that's something. Now, <coughs> like, here's the thing. Um, now, first things first, I don't know. If this guy realizes that Miko and Hana were were those, you know, uh, those kids who did not want to give him the cat, I wonder what how he'll react if he actually realizes that. Now, <coughs> another thing, uh, <coughs> as Hana said, uh, not Hana, sorry, as Miko said, I remember this clearly because I can see the spirits. That's why I can remember this so very clearly and she's correct, you know, like it was like a random day They met this guy Who wanted like, you know the cat and I'm sure like, you know a few days have passed after that maybe months and You know like in the middle of it obviously Hana won't remember because yeah, like it's just a random encounter with a complete stranger Miko remembers it so clearly because she can see the spirits and I'm, I'm sure the same thing probably happened with the teacher as well but you know what um it's a little bit different i guess because um <clears throat> the teacher actively went and asked the cat for them and miko rejected him so i'm guessing it would be a more uh bigger impact on him it, it put a more bigger impact on him and it would be more clearer to him in his memory than hana because you know like <clears throat> like obviously like even if he was a stranger he <clears throat> wanted a cat he went to them and he asked them for the cat and miko said that no you're not getting it and gave it to someone else obviously this will be a uh, something that he, i i'm sure he will remember so i don't think it's the same with the guy i i probably i think probably this guy remembers them I don't know if he actually paid attention to the class and he saw Miko and Hana is here. I don't know that. Or is he just like, you know, ignoring them? Like, who knows? There's a lot of possibilities. <clears throat> so we'll see. Uh, like, like, it's good to see that he's basically not doing anything. He's just 
for now at least he's just i don't know teaching his class but the more the bigger problem here is that miko can see these ghosts and yeah it's 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 a very big problem because you know if your homeroom teacher has this huge uh, i don't know 10 feet ghost uh, hovering around him uh, outside the class like yeah that's that and and you can see it that's a big problem i think yeah obviously so for miko this is a big problem <clears throat> and not only that like that's that's just part of the problem um there are cat spirits demonic cats surrounding him so yeah i think um this will probably be a big deal for miko because she will be constantly i don't know like she she'll be constantly in their presence and that's scary <clears throat> so yeah and now here's the thing okay now wait a minute okay and then we get to the next part where she goes to the toilet and then there's this toilet ghost <laughs> oh my god imagine a ghost popping out of a toilet uh, nasty <laughs> and then he, she finds yulia over there eating i think yulia was probably eating because yeah the question is why is she eating in the toilet like she's not being bullied i don't think so why is she eating the toilet? Like, I could understand if, like, you know, like, I've, I've seen in animes before, like, you know, if someone was being bullied or something, they, whenever the rest, like, you know, recess comes, they go to the toilet and eat in the toilet. But she, she's not being bullied. She's, she's basically, people. she doesn't have friends. That's the thing with her. So why is she going to the toilet to eat? Like, that's the question. I don't know. Like, she could just, I don't know, like, just you know like go somewhere within the school premise and just eat alone even if she's alone she can just eat outside like why go to the toilet like that doesn't make sense but anyways yeah like <clears throat> she finds yulia over there and brings them uh, brings her with them and <laughs> because like yulia you you don't don't you eat in the toilet you know uh, because obviously she's concerned about him her because the toilet has that ghost and <laughs> yulia is like oh they want <laughs> me to eat with them how nice <laughs> but obviously like you know i'm not saying that miko does not want to eat with her i'm sure that's also the thing but the bigger uh concern for miko here was that the ghost was also in the toilet so she didn't want anything to happen to her that's a bigger source of concern for her but yeah it's nice to see that they're <clears throat> from here onwards they're going to like eat together like that's good like you know they legitimately become became better friends and yeah now they'll i'm guessing they'll be uh hanging around as a trio which is nice because after that we go go to the next part with the mrs donut or whatever the name was <laughs> they are doing a campaign or whatever where <clears throat> you go into the haunted house you survive it you stamp the thing or whatever they provide you with and you get 20 donuts now <clears throat> Obviously, I can see that they really did not want to give away those donuts because the <laughs> the setting was too scary and too realistic. Like, damn, like imagine hiring how many 10 to 20 um, actors for this campaign. Like this, like legitimately, they had makeup on and everything. And like, you know, they were legitimately trying to scare them off. Like, <clears throat> yeah, they... they <laughs> They really did not want to give away those donuts. <laughs> oh my god. <clears throat> but anyways. <clears throat> like, <clears throat> obviously these guys are like a company. That's why they have better stuff and they made the whole haunted house a lot better than we usually see in anime school festivals, you know? Like, you know, the haunted house, like a thing in cultural festivals where they, where the students kind of do stuff on their own and usually the haunted house that they make are <clears throat> made by <clears throat> things that children can make and do for example like using cardboard boxes and stuff but here since this was like a company you know like a, a fast food company or whatever food something um yeah they hired professional actors and stuff and they like legitimately made it scary like damn those um uh <laughs> the decorations inside you know with those dolls hanging skeletons here and there with <clears throat> like candlelight and i don't know like 
all the other stuff like you know red paint making it feel as if blood and all that stuff so yeah that was that was legitimately scary but <clears throat> not for the two girls over here miko and yulia they have gone through a lot of stuff and even though miko went through a lot of more stuffs than yulia yulia is still accustomed to all of this but yeah as i was saying like you know like it, it, it doesn't matter if you're not scared jump scares are pretty nasty you know even if you are like the bravest person in the world if you get hit by a jump scare everyone's going to get surprised and yeah that's the <laughs> that's the most nasty thing uh, you know like in these type of situations jump scares and they kind of fell for one or two jump scares as you can only yulia also got surprised miko also kind of got surprised and <clears throat> now by the end of it miko was like wait a minute i can actually scream over here i don't have to act as if i'm not seeing them <laughs> and she was so happy she was like oh my god like finally i can just scream or whatever you know so it's kind of nice to see her you know squealing like that she's like help me help me and like you know laughing and smiling and at the same time screaming <laughs> my god and uh, yeah now the thing that i was kind of fearing for kind of came true i was thinking like there must be some real ghost mixed with in with this so if by any chance miko sees a real ghost and she's like oh this is another actor let me scream at the top of my lungs um yeah it's going to be a problem because obviously that's a real ghost and <clears throat> like it's kind of scary thinking about it that you are actually unable to differentiate in this situation because all the actors they're also wearing makeups and stuff making it seem as if you're a real ghost and the ghosts the original ghosts are already scary enough so you won't be able to differentiate between who is the real ghost and who is not the real ghost so yeah that happened um it's good like you know like she kind of messed up when in the end where we see that that ghost that comes out the original one <clears throat> who's like wearing a what was that a track suit yeah like wearing a track suit with a huge head that ghost it comes out and miko's like oh help me and then she realizes that that's an actual ghost um it's good that it did not go completely crazy and started attacking her or something you know it, it was just kind of like trying to see whether miko really did see him or not it was kind of following them that's what that's what the reason why and <clears throat> kind of miko was able to give him the you know like was able to get out of that whole situation since all the other actors also came behind them and she was like you know what let me just you know my whole grievances against the situation i cannot scream when i see a ghost i have to come all the time keep a poker face i've had enough with this so now that i have the chance let me just um you know put everything out in front of them and she's like yeah don't don't follow me she just screamed and just went away <laughs> and the the original ghost was like oh wait a minute it was not to me it was them that she was cared for so okay i think it's all right not to follow her anymore and then the ghost goes back so yeah it kind of helped in a way the ghost stopped following him her and they got 20 donuts by the end of it <laughs> so yeah a win-win situation i guess <clears throat> but yeah it was nice to see that you know like <laughs> the situation the scene was funny you know like seeing Miko scream like that with a big smile in her face. <laughs> Damn. Oh boy. Okay, that was good. <clears throat> and then in the end, uh we see um Yulia going to the godmother's um what do you call that shop? And she's like, Godmother, she must be going through her training arc. Like she'll come back even stronger but godmother is i don't know like farming in her house uh, <laughs> in in her place and 
the the guy that we see there that was an actual spirit like i was not expecting that suddenly happening like she she turns around and she sees that no one's there like damn that's it's kind of ah oh, what can i say like not scary but kind of unsettling in a way like ah uh, but you know yeah what else can you do but okay anyways the thing that i wanted to talk about here is the, the thing about the um teacher now here's the thing um first of all we can go come like you know we can come to a few conclusions from here we still are not completely sure but we can kind of, like you know take some like you know comes to some conclusions with the amount of information that we have number one he is surrounded by cat spirits i think those are cat spirit demonic cat spirits or whatever so now this doesn't necessarily mean that he killed those cats or something but it does mean that he is an attractor field or whatever you call it for these type of um bad spirits bad cat spirits why the question is why is he now we can kind of you know guess a few stuff maybe he treats cats badly that's why you know like these cat spirits are following her him or something and well, i don't know maybe it's something like that but we're still not sure like you know like we'll have to wait for the actual answer what is actually going on with him like why are so many like, demonic cats following him or like are possessing him or something and that's number one number two uh we see a female ghost like now where is that part now the the thing here is the female ghost is when they were in the co uh in the in the outside you know eating and miko was looking at uh the teacher okay the female ghost comes beside her and says don't look and then goes away there's a few things that is very wrong with this scene number one the ghost actually realizes that miko can s no no okay okay never mind uh I, I was going to say the ghost actually realizes that miko can see her but that's not necessarily the case here because um for the ghost miko is just watch keeping an eye on uh, the teacher you know she, she doesn't know that miko can see her that's not necessarily the case here so yeah like okay like scratch that i was thinking something completely different um so the question here is is this i don't know like who is this ghost is this like some kind of a i don't know like possessive like you guys remember in one of the previous episode uh, like there's this uh the guy you know and then there's this girl the guy had like a crazy ghost crazy female ghost following him it's kind of like that i guess is that what's happening because it's a similar like you know Mio kind of went through a similar thing before as well where in that that episode the guy was like it was kind of the opposite in a way the guy was actually keeping an eye on miko and checking her out so the ghost i'm guessing that's a crazy female ghost it, it kind of came to miko and like, you know tried to scare her or something like that like that was what was happening so it's kind of similar to that but in this episode here it's actually the opposite because miko's keeping an eye out on the teacher so the ghost kind of comes and tells her don't look so yeah that's the thing i'm guessing it's something like that so damn like i wonder what the relationship is uh this guy has with so many ghosts following him so yeah we'll see like like i i have to say like i've i've been seeing this guy for like in these two episodes yeah he he doesn't seem dangerous it's just that he seems a little bit gloomy you know gloomy and like has crazy eyes and he's just followed by these ghosts so i'm still not sure what the actual problem is with this whole thing like you know why are so many ghosts following him so 
what did he do in his past or something but uh, we'll, we'll have to wait for it i guess you know like especially the thing with the cat ghosts like the the female ghost i can kind of understand you know like maybe i don't know like maybe it just suddenly latched into him and is following him around and whenever someone looks at him he like you know the female ghost goes and is like don't look at him tries to warn them but since nobody can see ghosts they don't realize that Migo can see ghosts she realizes that's happening so but the main question here is what's up with the cat ghosts like why are there so many cat ghosts following him so that's the bigger question here but we'll see and uh, yeah that's it so that's it guys so that was my reaction to this episode uh this was episode number nine of miracle chan so if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and i'll definitely check them out so yeah guys that's it thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next week with another episode of miracle chan until then goodbye and have a nice day